Ladies and gentlemen, we have a problem. Actually, a couple major problems. In economic downturns like we are experiencing today, there is a drop-off in benevolent giving. Worldwide hunger is a very real concern, and agencies that are usually reliable in addressing these problems are starving for financial support. Six million children under the age of five are dying every year because of starvation. Six million children. That's more than 16,000 children every day. Also, there's the very real concern of what's going on in the global economy. All of us are feeling the effects of this financial tsunami in some form or fashion. Layoffs, bailouts, foreclosures, bankruptcies. Let's face it, it's hard to focus on the needs of starving children when you yourself are becoming your own best charity case, especially since these children we are talking about are ignored by the evening news. They're halfway around the world, they're very young, and even if they were old enough to say thank you, it would be in a language we don't understand. They're probably a different color, they don't have rich petroleum reserves, and they can't be categorized as a national security risk. It's the 800-pound gorilla in the room that nobody wants to talk about. The current efforts of benevolent programs are truly applaudable, but the task at hand is just too great. They simply don't have the mechanism in place to significantly impact a catastrophe of such magnitude. A solution for such a massive crisis must employ the efforts of the masses to solve it. But that's the dilemma. How can average, normal people, most of whom are hurting financially right now, do anything significant, anything truly impactful? What if there was a way to kill the two proverbial birds with the one fabled stone? What if you could directly impact, in a significant way, the world hunger crisis, while at the same time addressing your own financial concerns? Enter network giving, a paradigm shift in the mechanism by which charitable giving has been done in the past. Don't get me wrong, charitable giving is good, but creating a perpetual fund-generating machine is better. The Doing Well While Doing Good project is an exclusive, members-only group focused on our mission to create a global network of philanthropeneurs who make it their business to have a significant impact on the world hunger crisis. This project is the brainchild of six multimillionaire philanthropist businessmen who have a heart for starving children. In 2007, they introduced a life-changing product, the Zango Goodness Meal Pack. This product is a meal replacement program that is the first step out of starvation. A dry powder formulation for the severely malnourished, it helps to strengthen those who cannot properly digest solid food due to long periods of poverty, famine, or other disasters. It is effective in meeting basic nutritional needs by simply adding water. We already have in place an established network of credible charitable organizations for the distribution of this product. This important step ensures that those most in need will receive this vital nutrition. You don't take delivery of the meal packs or carry any inventory. You simply place your order via our automated system and the meals are delivered through our distribution partner directly to the starving children. By making a monthly purchase of 70 meals or two meal packs, you can position yourself to earn monthly commissions that rapidly exceed your purchase price. Please understand, we are not trying to simply solicit donations to help feed starving children. As noble as that effort might be, we are asking you to consider doing something much more significant. We are asking that you consider being the start of something truly profound. You can be directly responsible for the birth of a geometric progression that can result in the multiplication of your efforts by hundreds, thousands, even tens of thousands of times. Let me explain to you what I mean by that. Instead of a simple linear progression, like you personally donating money to charity, a geometric progression involves a compounding of numbers that Einstein called the eighth wonder of the world. Instead of you just purchasing meal packs to feed starving children, we are asking you to do that, but also to make a commitment to finding others who will join us in this crusade. This will result in a geometric progression with individuals who will be involved in the perpetuation of this process. For example, imagine what would happen if you were to make a personal commitment to provide 70 meals per month for starving children and simply find one person who also resonates with this life-saving message. Just by doing this, you have immediately doubled your production of meals provided to starving children. Then visualize what will happen if each of you committed to doing the same, each of you finding one person who will duplicate the process. By month number four, you will have created an organization of 16 contributors who are providing 1,120 meals per month, and you are already generating more monthly residual income than the cost of your own two meal packs. 
By month number six, in addition to the 4,480 meals your team is providing, you are enjoying an extra income in your household of $620 a month. I point this out because 91% of the home foreclosures that occurred last year could have been prevented with just an additional $500 of monthly income. Within 10 months, you are providing 71,680 meals per month and generating over $5,000 in monthly income. And in month number 12, just one year from today, you will have built a team of over 4,000 contributors. You are generating a residual income of over $20,000 per month, while at the same time being directly responsible for feeding over 200,000 meals each month to starving children. Over the past six years, our company has already paid out over 10 million checks, totaling $750 million. I encourage you to join us in this project today. Doing well while doing good. How cool is that? Please get back to the person who referred you to this message for all the details.